slow down, take a minute, take a breath, enjoy the fresh air, and be like, ah, you know what? <laughs> I'm alive. <laughs> Get to walk out of your house, have a cup of coffee, and sit down and have a conversation with somebody. <laughs> you know what I mean? It, it's it, it, it's great. You know, I uh, my kids put a big smile on my face over the last couple of days, man. I'll tell you what. <laughs> 17, 17 and almost 14 years ago, my daughter would be 14 in four days. <laughs> I was sitting there talking to her yesterday and uh, well, went and got her from school and got some ice cream. Because that's a freaking frame. I swear to God, my kid can live on fucking ice cream and not eat anything else in this whole entire world. But, uh, you know, maybe I should try that. Maybe I should just try an ice cream diet because, you know, 14 and 5 foot 10. I don't know. Maybe there's something. Maybe they're putting something in the ice cream now. <laughs> but uh, you know, just you know, just listen to her. You know, talk about you know her life endeavors right now. You know, fixing to be an eighth grade student next year. Her brother's fixing to graduate next year, and just to see how big and how how good good of kids are doing. You know, me and her mom, of course, have been separated for fucking years, but her mom did it pretty damn good pretty damn good job with him while I was away in the military so you know we don't always get along with our exes but you have to give credit where credit's due sometimes you know and uh, <laughs> coke pepsi bottles with peanuts in it I hear you right. <laughs> damn that's an oldie right there for you alright so from Ron everybody knows about Ikea right <laughs> Ikea, this big fucking furniture store that, you know, everybody fucking loves to go shop to. I went to Ikea in Charlotte one time. I'll never fucking go back again because, Jesus, wow. We talked about this the other morning. <coughs> and uh, our Ikea store is a gigantic freaking, geez, fucking warehouse. You get to walk through and look at the pretty little things. And then you have to take your ass downstairs and go pick the shit out of the warehouse yourself. Yeah, not happening. Not with this guy. I ordered the shit offline, but uh, I am curious to see what DC Benny has to say about IKEA. Check it out. <laughs> Married, you do all that stuff you don't want to do. Yeah, I tell my wife was like, "You should, you know what you should do? You should uh, take a yoga class." I'm like, uh, isn't isn't yoga uh, uh, for girls? And she's like, "No, they teach yoga in prison." <laughs> Never saw that on Oz, you know. <laughs> I'm like, well, tell me about this yoga class. She goes, well, it's in the community center and it's free, but it's a lesbian yoga class, but it's no big deal because you'll, you know, you'll fit in or whatever. I'm like, great, you know, I'm gonna show up. It's gonna be some big girl with muscles and a plaid shirt at the door. Like, no breeders allowed, you know. Be a line of women, some secret password. What's the password? Tofu. Okay, come on, you know. <laughs> But I'm like, you know, I'm going to put aside my preconceived notions. I'm going to go check out this class, you know. And I didn't have any, uh, what do you call, clean sweatpants. So I wore pajamas, you know, same thing. <laughs> Show up to the class, saw women in this room. There's a little space. I sit in this space. This lady comes over. She goes, uh, you, you can't sit there. That's Paradise's space. I'm like, Paradise, that's her yoga name. I'm like, sounds like a stripper name, you know. <laughs> She's like, you got to take off your shoes. So I took off my shoes. Then she goes, you got to get a mat. I'm like, I'm tired already, you know. <laughs> I haven't even done yoga yet. I go in a closet. There's one mat left. It's purple. I'm sitting on this purple mat with no shoes and pajamas. I look like a broken down Aladdin, you know, waiting for AAA. You know, like. The teacher comes in. She's this little Asian lady. She looks like she's going to say something really profound. You're like, yoga is a mind body together. You know, but she's like, is this anybody's first time? Yeah, what's your yoga name? Pack a day? You know? <laughs> So the class starts, and it was, it was hard. Like, I couldn't even get in the basic position. You need, like, an extra knee joint and a vagina. And I'm like, how do you just some duct tape on it? And, uh, and they, they, they sing the yoga song. I didn't know any of the lyrics. They're like, shantiyam, shantiyam, like, shaka khan, shaka khan. <laughs> and the stuff was hard. You just think breath of fire, and that's when you breathe like this. And I uh, smoke, I almost passed out. I'm like, all right, no more breath of fire, you know. And, and then you do uh, a downward dog. And that's when you put your hand down, your hands down, and your feet down. And you're looking ahead of you, but you're looking at the ass of the person ahead of you doing downward dog. And they're looking at the ass of the person ahead of them. So it's this MC Escher ass infinity daisy chain kind of thing going on. And there's some ugly asses in yoga class. I mean, they're all, the smile's all crooked, you know. It looks like that face that has a stroke when somebody talks outside their mouth. You know, spray it chip chip, get in the car. You know, that thing. <laughs> 
really distracting, you know? Hard to arm with that shit going on. Another, another dude shows up to the class and I kind of give him that look like, yeah, hey, you know, you know, solidarity. Let's not, uh, let's not let anybody know we were here, you know? But he's like a yoga black belt. He takes his shit off. He's got a loincloth on and a tuft of hair. You know, he's like, you know? And he's looking at me like, ugh. So I'm like, all right. So I'm in, I'm in the downward dog. I'm looking at someone's ass trying to focus. I'm like, I wonder who's looking at my ass. I look back, it's him. He's like, watch your back, rookie. Watch your back. <laughs> Man. And then the teacher's like, uh, separate you a sit bone. So I'm like, well, what's a sit bone? He's next to me. He's like, that's when you pull the cheeks of your buttocks apart. It elongates the spine and it, it adds to the chakra. I'm like, no wonder they do this in prison. You know? <laughs> so uh, then the class kind of winds down and, and, you, and you meditate. The teacher tells you a little story. You know, and you're meditating, and, it, and it's not a very good story. She's like, you're walking down the path, and uh, there's a fork in the road, and the, I don't know, you got a left or the right, you got to think. You know, meditate the mind, let it marinate all over. And then it gets really quiet, right? And then somebody farts, and I heard, pop, 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 and it's Brooklyn, so I got down. You know? and, uh, cloud of ass just hit me, and it was one of those vegetarian ones where I'm like, whoa, what the fuck, are you freebasing beans? What's going on inside there, you know? I'm waiting for a cow to kick open the door, be like, who blew a hole in the ozone layer? Who did it? And the teacher looks at me, and she's like, sometimes when we're new, our internal organs, I'm like, it wasn't me, you know? And everybody's like, shanti on, so no one's taking credit. So I'm like, I'm leaving. So I go to get my shoes. My shoes are gone. I'm like, where are my shoes? And I see this. I see this lady in the corner. She's got my shoes. I'm like, what are you doing with my shoes? She's like, well, I moved them. I'm like, why'd you move them? Because they were blocking the fire exit. I'm like, how do shoes block a fire exit? There's a burning building. You can't jump over some fucking Adidas. You know, ah! I'm like, give me my shoes. She's like, ah! We start arguing. The teacher comes over. She's like, what's going on? I'm like, she took my shoes and I moved a little too abruptly. And my dick popped out. <laughs> you know, I forgot I had pajamas on. It didn't just pop out. I was like a little old man looking at him. like, ah! It popped out. I, I knew something was wrong. I knew something was wrong. I was like, did I leave the oven on? You know, I gotta buy stamps. You know, why is it so chilly in August? And everything got to be kind of slow motion. I see the teacher in the back of the room. She's on the phone. There he's a man in the pajamas, waving the penis in a menacing fashion. Nine one one. And I'm like, man in the pajamas. Oh no! And I kept trying to flip it in and apologize simultaneously, but he didn't want to go. And I like it out here. Look at this. Yeah. Look at all this pussy. I'm surrounded by it. I'm like, man, I'm gonna go to jail. In the middle of the night, there's gonna be a hot breath in my ear. Rise and shine. It's yoga time. <laughs> oh shit. <laughs> Okay, I don't know. He should have named that fucking yoga because I swear to God the bit is called Ikea. <laughs> maybe maybe there's a... Uh, <laughs> maybe there's a... Something that I missed in the name of the bit, but I had to say that is funny as hell. Holy shit. Did you imagine being a man in a yoga class in fucking pajamas? <laughs> and you're first time sitting in there and all of a sudden you get up and you fucking wing pops out. Damn, dude. Uh, I don't know about y'all, but I was fucking rolling on that one. <laughs> oh, shit. What? Embarrassing moments. If you're in a check, if you're listening to the show, man, if y'all listening on the Spreaker app, hit the title of the show, come on into the chat group, or if you're listening on the website, hit the little chat symbol, man, come on into the chat group. I want to know something about your embarrassing moments in life. Come on, you got to throw one out there. You got to. Throw one out there. You know what I'm saying? Let, let's, let's... <laughs> Let's all let's all laugh together instead of laughing at each other. I had to say that's funny. Shit. <laughs> uh, embarrassing moments. Jeez. Um, God almighty, man. I, I have to say one of my most embarrassing moments. And surprise I didn't get wrote up for this. <laughs> I ain't doing yoga either. Fuck that. Uh-uh. Ain't happening. <laughs> It was so weird. I thought he was going to talk about the store at Ikea. I thought he had something to say about that fucking place, but instead it turned out to be a younger story. Oh, we got a cab story here in a few minutes. I don't, that, that shit. DC Benny's a fucking hoot. <laughs> Yo, I, I don't get embarrassed that that easily either, sis. I, I feel you, but 
I, you know, let's say I, I'm surprised I didn't get run up for this one, okay? So, <clears throat> I'm pretty sure it's still kind of the same. Whenever you get into Germany, you, you, you're kind of on lockdown for a month. You know, you're in a different culture, in a different country. You know, you have to learn their laws. They put you through a speech class so that way you can... <clears throat> <laughs> so that way you can you know kind of relate to the language so that way you can say thank you please ask for something uh take the driver's test which is a hundred fucking question test and it's you know it's it's a little difficult to be honest you know you really have to study that test <laughs> You know, if you did, you know, thank God we got roundabouts in the States, you know, because a lot of their questions had to do with roundabouts. But anyway, so I was like, you know what? Fuck. I'm, I'm 20, I'm 27 years old and y'all are telling me that I can't go have a fucking beer. So I'm like, fuck it. <laughs> I was invited out with a few other guys and uh, we went out to Ed's without fucking drinking. And this is where I fucked up. I'm used to bars shutting down at like 2, 3 o'clock in the morning, right? Oh, no. This one doesn't close till 6 a.m. What time's PT? Normally 6.30. <laughs> so we're all sitting here. We're all slap happy fucking drunk. You know, we're, we're laughing. We're carrying on. You know, it's, it's, it's Friday. And uh, we're like, you know what, dude? I, I think it's about time to go back so we can get a couple hours sleep. You know, let's sleep some of this off. <laughs> and the guy looks at me and he goes, well, we don't have PT this morning. I don't know about you, but if you got to go, you better be going. I'm like, why? He goes, it's fucking 530. And I'm like, oh, shit. I look at my watch. It's 530 in the fucking morning. So here I am, me and this one other guy. He was new to. We're hauling ass. It literally takes about 30 minutes to walk from the barracks to the gate. And then another about five, 10 minutes to walk down the street. So I got about 40 minutes. We're run, already running our asses off. It's fucking cold. It's fucking January. There's fucking snow on the ground. We're over here running our asses off in civilian clothes, tripping and following, fa- falling and stumbling through the fucking snow, through the fucking generals in the Sergeant Major's little neighborhood section. You know, you got people staring out the windows like, what the fuck is going on? These guys must be new. <laughs> and... Here we are, we're coming down the fucking hill. And <laughs> the people are already starting to gather outside. <laughs> and the maintenance platoon is forming up. You know, everybody has finally come over from from uh, the other town. You know, Everybody's finally getting together. And I get right there in front of everybody to slow down before I hit the, before I hit the sidewalk so I can run inside and change into my PTs. And I just barf right there in front of fucking everybody. <laughs> All these new people that's been with the company that that came, <laughs> that came over to Graf from uh, oh hell I can't, I can't even I can't even fucking pronounce the other fucking name Swineford. There you go, Swineford. Sorry, they came over from Swineford. Just looked at me as I'm just hurling out all this fucking beer and alcohol. <laughs> and they don't know who I am just yet. You know, they're just kind of like laughing their asses off because somebody's almost late for PT, stops right there in front of the formation, pukes in front of fucking everybody, run inside, I fucking change. I'm trying to brush my teeth. You know, I got fucking half a bottle of scope in my fucking mouth, you know. Then I run out and I'm standing there in formation. I'm just like, oh my God, I feel like shit. <laughs> you know, it's Friday. You know you're going on a run. We just got through sprinting for fucking, you know, about 25, 30 minutes. And everybody kind of stops and was like, wait a minute. Didn't you just, you're the guy. Yeah, sure am. It's hard to miss that six, six foot six motherfucker, especially when he damn skinny as fuck. You know, I was, I, I wasn't, I wasn't big yet. You know, I still, I still was a little, little skinny white boy, but just tall. <laughs> but yeah, I got ragged on. That's for, that's, that's for damn sure. We, it was, it was a nice little five mile run that morning, snow on the ground. You know, even, even the first sergeant kind of came running up beside me. He's like, damn, I never thought I'd have a brewery running beside me. He goes, hmm, what should we do about that here, Conwell? And, you know, this is right before they started calling me Big Country. <laughs> I was like, hmm, I don't know, Top. 
I thought my ass was going to get rode up because I wouldn't.